What's up everyone? This is your boy Vincent aka Fresh Off The Box and welcome to another unboxing video. First of all, thank you guys for tuning in once again. I really appreciate the support. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Just click on the subscribe button at the bottom right corner of your screen. If you see a cartoon icon of myself in the box, just click on that to subscribe to my channel. So anyway, uh, today's review will be about this awesome cool uh, uh, stuffed toys in front of me which is the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fugglers. So if you don't know what Fugglers are, back in 2010, a woman named uh, a British woman named Mrs. McGetrick uh, made a concept about putting uh, denture teeth <laughs> on teddy bears. So that's how Fugglers were born, so <laughs> or made. And uh, as you can see here, just looking at turtles, they're freaking ugly, man. But <laughs> yeah, I guess that has the name Fugglers. But um, yeah, uh, they, they decided to put these ugly teeth on these teddy bears and uh, you could see these fugglers everywhere. And they're pretty funny looking and at the same time, they're kind of scary. <laughs> but anyway, I'm really excited to check these uh, stuffed toys out and uh, just go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and unbox this. Alright, so as I was uh, removing the TMNT Fugglers out of their uh, pizza boxes, I noticed that um, there's some cool text inside the box. So as you can see here, one says troublesome, and here's this one that says up to no good, and here's one that says unpredictable. <laughs> That's some cool uh, text that they included in there. Alright, now that we have the TMNT Fugglers out of their pizza boxes, let's go ahead and check out each one. So first up, we have Leonardo right here. <laughs> Wow, check that out. So he has these ears, which are pretty cool. And that's the bandana right there. That's pretty awesome. I mean, he has like these squinty eyes. I don't know. <laughs> Man, uh, as you can see here, Fugglers have the, like these uh, glass eyes. So they look kind of real, makes them really scary. And uh, of course, uh, the teeth, uh, just going to let you guys know, the teeth are not real. They're fake teeth. But um, according to Mrs. Uh, McGedrick, she did get a request from people to put actually put real teeth on their fugglers because she used to cause uh, she used to just do these handmade so uh, and she would sell them on Etsy so and then she would just get fake teeth and make these uh, plush toys and then uh, when she blew up people are started requesting like uh, if they could put their actual teeth or real teeth on the fugglers uh, yeah and on, on the fugglers and that that's really weird so she didn't do that she's never gonna do that that's what she stated. But here is Leo, and you see here on the belt, nice wristbands right here too, or armbands. Um, no bands on the feet, but he does have a nose, and it's a plastic nose, as you can see there. And uh, check out the back. Wow, they're pretty cool. And these are actually sold to be collectibles. They're not really supposed to be like toys for kids, you know, but you know they are kind of like marketed that way. But when I first saw Fugglers on the store, not Ninja Turtle Fugglers, man, they're like really ugly and I'm like, I'm not gonna buy these things, man. But since they collab with uh, Ninja Turtles, I ended up buying it, so which is pretty awesome. So he has these katanas on the back right there, kind of like, 
they're not even positioned correctly, but you know, the logo TMNT right there in the back and then Fuggler logo. And then the unique thing about these Fugglers is they have the buttons. These are called buttons or but you know, they have a button. These are supposed to be glow in the dark. I tried it. Uh, I need them brighter light to, you know, uh, power up the glow in the dark effect. But it says they're TMNT Fuggler. So that's that makes your your uh, TMNT Fuggler authentic. So, you know, I don't know if there's going to be fake ones of these flying around, but you know, that's Leo for you. Okay, next up we have Donatello. Man, uh, Donatello's actually kind of cute, you know, to be honest with you guys, compared to the other Fugglers, you know. But check this out. He has uh, two buck teeth and his mouth is on the side, which is kind of funny. You know, gr uh, green glass eyes right there. Man, and uh, I really like how they made the, I really like the fur on the, on these Fuggler turtles. They got uh, the belt there, bandana, and then on the back, of course, he has the shell and Nice D. Oh, look at the bow. See, that's uh, that's uh, correctly positioning the bow right there. You know, so I like the shirt. Uh, of course, the soft. Uh, it's kind of hard here in the back, but you know, still sign it. And you have your button right there in the back. So, oh, and then you have your tag, TMNT, and then you have Spin Masters who distributes this and here in the U.S. So, Donatello. All right, next up, we have Michelangelo. Man, check that out. He probably has, uh, I think him and Raph have the most teeth. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven teeth, you know. And of course, he has the squinty eyes also like Leo. So check that out, man. He has like these two cool ears. Very fluffy ears. That's very nice. Not like Leo's. Leo's represents more like a cat. But this must like more a teddy bear um, ears. So check it out, orange wristbands, and the belt, Michelangelo, and you have their detail on the turtle. So, and then you have your turtle shell, and then you have the nunchucks. You know, I wish you would like they would have put the nunchucks more inside, or probably make it bigger. But you know, that's that they have for him. That's how they designed it for him. And uh, near button right there in the bottom. So man. And lastly, we have Raphael. As you can see here, man, he is probably the most soft after uh, Fuggler. Um, and also, I think Michelangelo also, because uh, Leonardo and Donatello, you can just walk into Walmart and you'll find those, those two. They're very common. But Leo and Mikey, um, you can't find them in stores. So we were able to pre-order these online. And uh, yeah, he's like, he looks really cool. And it's very fluffy. Look at that fur, man. That's awesome. He's probably the best one, you know. Check that out. And his eyes are like crooked. <laughs> and yeah, he has like, uh, he also has seven teeth. You know, and there's one the weird tooth right there. <laughs> this is all, and look at that. Raphael, and the belt right there, and red wristbands. Show the bandana. Whoa. And on the back, as you can see there, you have your size, you know, and he's positioned upward again. You know, if I'm going to be nitpicky, that's the only thing I'm going to nitpick. <laughs> But um, yeah, check that out. Very nice. And then you have your button here. So that's a, right there. Wow. And there you have it. Your uh, TMNT Fugglers, as you can see here, they're all side by side. They look great together, to be honest with you. Even though they're freaking ugly, they're, you know, they look great, you know. And uh, you got to have the all four brothers, you know. You can't just have uh, one of each or two of each. But yeah, they come with these pretty cool... Uh, pizza boxes, you know, uh, that they're packaged in. So that's a great uh, touch to the to the to these uh, to these. Uh, I don't know, even know what to call them. They're plush toys. All right, they're <laughs> good plush toys. You know, so you know, um, if you're a big fan of TMNT, uh, you know, you gotta have these to your collection. If you're a big fan of the Fugglers, you gotta have this to your collection, to your collection man. But uh, yeah, um, you know, adults and kids can enjoy them. Hopefully, your kids just don't get scared of them. Yeah, they're <laughs> you know, just uh, I guess you gotta not surprise them with these things, you know. But uh, yeah, they look great, and uh, definitely um, they're pretty much sold at Walmart right now here in the U.S. and online. But I'm I'm just telling you right now, Raphael and Michelangelo are very hard to find, and you have to pay double the price or triple the price for them. If you want to go on eBay, um, that's the only places where you can probably find these two plush toys. You know, they're, they don't sell them on the Fuggler website, also. So you gotta purchase from a distributor. So unfortunately, they only have Leo and Donatello at Walmart.com. You can purchase them for retail price for like $7.98 uh, each. 
you know, they're not that expensive. So, you know, I'm surprised they're only $7.98. They're not like 15 bucks. But yeah, I'm glad the prices are that, uh, like that low. But, you know, uh, Mikey and Raphael are very rare. So you guys have got to do your hunting on that. But anyway, uh, yeah, got to add these to these uh, plush toys to your collection. And that wraps up my review the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fugglers. Check this plushies out. Here is Leonardo. And hopefully he's in focus right there. You can see him clearly. And uh, pretty much he's the only one I think that doesn't have any uh, fur on his skin. He's pretty much made out of felt. <laughs> That's what they used on him. And uh, check out the tail though. He's the only one that has a tail. It's very fluffy. And you, they put all the fur on his tail. And so uh, that's Leonardo for you. And then next up, uh, probably the best one in the set. We have Raphael. Check this out, man. He has like these two small ears. And then uh, he has like the fluffy uh, fur on him, which is pretty nice, you know. And uh, it's very soft. And uh, it's, uh, it just reminds me of a combination of Cookie Monster and Oscar the Grouch, you know. So check that out. And here's, check out the uh, the shell on the back with the turtle, the MNG logo, and the Fuggler logo. And then, oh, well, his button is here. Oh yeah, there's a button in the back. But uh, very nice uh, uh, plushie uh, for Raphael. And then next, uh, next up we have... Uh, Donatello, here he is, man. He's probably the, one of the funniest looking ones in this set because he has like the eyes are popping out and then he has the side, uh, his mouth on the side with the two buck teeth <laughs> and he has the gorilla arms right there which just reaches, well, kind of reaches all the way to his feet. You know, that's, uh, and it's very soft too. His uh, plush is very soft. Doesn't have any ears though and no tail either. And then we have Michelangelo. <laughs> Michelangelo is pretty cute. He has like the teddy bear ears and, uh, you know, so very uh, soft fur on them too, on his, on this plush toy too. You know, uh, and has like the smiling uh, mouth right there, which is pretty cool. And is he the only one that has the nose on all? Leo has a nose. Oh yeah, so it's Leo and Michelangelo that has the, the nose right there. So yeah. Um, so if you want these uh, Fugglers right now, they're pretty much sold online at walmart.com. Walmart is the one uh, distributing these plushies here in the US. And uh, you know, the only ones, uh, they're going for like $7.98 each. And uh, fortunately, the only ones that are available online in store right now are Leonardo and Donatello. They're pretty common right now. And uh, they're pretty much selling for retail. And if you go to your local Walmart, Walmart you probably go to the toy section, you'll get, find Donatello and and uh, Leonardo there, but Raphael and Michelangelo are, are kind of rare uh, plushies and uh, I haven't seen them in stores yet when they first got released. And uh, I re we pre-ordered this on uh, walmart.com when they first were announced. So we got the whole set. And uh, unfortunately, um, you might have to pay double the price for Raphael and Michelangelo or even triple. You know, uh, your best bet is going on uh, the secondary market like eBay or Mercari to purchase the whole set and they're uh they're pretty much going for a lot right now you know and uh imagine like from eight dollars going to like twenty five dollars for you know this uh plushies if you're you know if you really really want this uh these uh these plushies or fugglers you gotta you know um you know i guess uh just if you have the the money uh, i suggest you guys pick them up you know and uh but um, you can, if you're a little patient, maybe they'll put them up for pre-order again for the whole set and uh, you'll be able to add these to your collection. But if you're a big fan of uh, Ninja Turtles, if you're a big fan of Fugglers, I highly suggest you guys pick this up because the, this is a great crossover between the two companies and uh, you know, it's pretty much out of, out of the box. I didn't see this coming and then when they were first announced, oh wow, <laughs> that's awesome. I'm a big fan of Ninja Turtles. You know, not a big fan of Fugglers. I thought Fugglers were really ugly and kind of creepy looking. But uh, with this one, with, I'm glad they were able to collab with uh, with uh, Nickelodeon and Ninja Turtles uh, to give us these very cool uh, plush toys. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for tuning in once again. I really appreciate the support. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.